Today we are going to see how to install CP4S on OCP cluster using UI. The prerequisite for this is OCP clusters to be configured and serverless operator to be installed. So let's first create a namespace. So click on projects, then click on create project. You can specify any name. Here we are using name as CP4S. Click on create button. With this namespace CP4S is get created. Now we will create secrets. So for this, click on secrets menu from the left hand side menu. So select project name as CP4S. Click on create and select option image pool secret. This is to pull the images from the repository. So specify the secret name as IBM entitlement key and uh, registry server address is cp.icr.io. Username is cp and password is the entitlement key provided with license. Click on create button. Now we will create another secret. And select the type as image pool secret. Specify the secret name as IBM ISC pool secret. The authentication type is image registry credential and registry server address is cp.icr.io. Username is again cp and password is the entertainment key which is provided with the license. You can skip the email and create. So with this, the secret is created. Now we will create another secret of type key value. So specify the secret name as ISC ingress default secret, which is used for SSL communication. So specify the key name as TLS.cert and import the certificate. We will add the key value as well. So click on key value and specify the key name as TLS.key and import the key certificate. So with this, we have created all the secrets required for our installation. Now we will install the cloud pack for security operator. For this, go to operator hub from the operator menu. Click on import YAML button and specify the YAML file. This is a sample YAML which should be created under OpenShift Marketplace namespace. So this is a kind of catalog source and getting created under namespace OpenShift Marketplace. Click on create. So with this catalog source is getting created. Now we will install the IBM security operator. So go to operator hub, search for the IBM cloud pack for security. Select the tile and click on install. The channel version is 1.10.3 and approval strategy is set as automatic and the installed namespace set as cp4s. Click on install button. So with this IBM cloud pack for security operator is getting installed. It will take few minutes. So once the operator installed successfully, click on view operator. So to create the instance for threat management, click on create instance. Specify the name as threat management and accept the license with setting value as true. Specify the admin user, which is going to be used as a application admin user. Specify the fully qualified domain name of your cluster. You can skip the storage class as it is being used as a default storage of your cluster. In the optional threat management capabilities, you can enable or disable the required capabilities. So by default, they are all set as true. For extended deployment configuration, you can specify the values here. And you can also enable ROCKS authentication. 
So basically, ROX authentication is available only on IBM Cloud clusters. So if you set it as true, then it will get enabled. Otherwise, by default, it is a false. With these values, click on create button. So with this, threat management instance is getting created. It will take approximately 1.5 hours and you can check the status of your installation under this status column. So get the details of this status, click on threat management, scroll down at the bottom, you will see the message as deployment is successful. Thank you.